today as you can see i'm going to be making candles so i'm going to be making three candles and each of them will have a different flavor i mean not flavor scent and color so for this one i'm doing this cucumber melon and it's going to be green and then for the second one i'm going to be doing kiwi watermelon which is going to be pink and then i'm going to be doing um hot chocolate and snickerdoodle they both smell like chocolate so i'm going to just be mixing both of them the hot chocolate one does have a scent to it like a minty scent so that's why i'm using that one so this one's going to be like just a hot chocolate one and then the color is going to be brown it says brown black but it's just going to be like a deep brown which is like hot chocolate so yeah i have all of my materials i have the wax right here and i will i got all of the all of the um i can't even talk i got all of the products or whatever from amazon like everything and for the scents, I'm just going to be using these Eternal Essence, Essential Oils, Fragrance Oils. And then these ones are um, from Amazon, Good Essential Essential Oils. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll just leak everything that I'm using in the description box when I'm done. And I have this um, jar, thingy me measuring cup and this um thermometer so yeah i'll link everything down below so yeah let's get to it so i already have this um wick in there which is a wood wick and i purchased those off of amazon as well and i purchased these glasses off of amazon really nice um candle glasses well, they're not really candle glasses, they're storage jars, but I'm using them as candle glasses because I just think they're the perfect size. These are 18 ounces, if I'm not mistaken, but um, I just fill it up to um, about 14, 15 ounces. So yeah, that product, the candle amount is like 16, 14 ounces, 14 to 15, I believe. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and ins insert the um, wicks for these. I'm using cotton wicks for these two. And then for the hot chocolate one, I'm going to try this wooden wick. I never tried it before, so I hope it works well. And yeah, I'm just going to insert these wicks now. Okay, so I have this one all ready. I'm just using these holder thingies. I'm not sure what they're called. I'm not a candle expert or anything like that yet. <laughs> I don't really plan to be, but yeah. So I have this one prepared already for what we're doing here. And this one I'm going to start now. So I am going to be using these um, sticky tack thingies to put the wicks on. So I have this whole bag of wicks and I'm doing two wick candles for the cotton. So we have our wicks and I'm just going to go ahead and stick them onto the stickers. Ball it so, well I eyeballed the first one so I'm just going to insert that one right there and we press it down and then I use this wick holder because you want to make sure whoops, you want to make sure it's secure so yeah and then I'm going to go ahead and do the second one And I kind of use these holes to guide me. So this one looks like it's about 
Okay y'all, so it is now the next day and I did go ahead and made the kiwi watermelon candle because my camera died and so I just went and proceeded with what I was doing. So the kiwi watermelon candle is all finished, it's done. I didn't cut the wicks yet, but it's every everything is solid and smooth and it looks like it's going to burn pretty well but i didn't burn it yet so i'm just going to go ahead and move on to the hot chocolate one i did let this one sit overnight i let my candy sit overnight because i feel like it just comes out better that way um so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and move on to the hot chocolate one i have my wax already in the container so what I do is I fill the whole thing up but I allow it to melt down to it's at 425 grams because I have 18 ounce jars yes but I do 15 ounce candles so um, what I do is convert the 15 ounces into grams so that determines how much wax I need for the 15 ounce candles. So 15 ounces converted to grams is 425 grams. So yeah, that's where I get my measurements from for the wax. In terms of the fragrance, um, my wax personally says on Amazon that it takes up to 15 to 20 drops of the fragrance and that works well with my wax so I just eyeball the fragrance and in terms of the color I just do it until I feel like I have the desired color that I want so the colors that I'm using are color flakes I guess you can say so it looks like this is a solid and I just crunch them up until it becomes um, powder so yeah we're going to get started i'm going to go ahead and melt my wax and then i'll get back so i just set the whole jar inside the whole measuring cup inside of the pot i want to boil the water and then just sit the measuring cup inside so this is going to melt down into 425 when it melts down and it's going past 425, I just add more wax into the measuring cup. So in the pan, in the pot, I let it go to about 190 because when I take it out, it does drop down like 5 degrees below. So I'm just going to let this reach 190 and then I'm going to take it out of the pot. Okay y'all, so my wax is at 190, so I'm just gonna let it cool until it's at um, 185. And I'm gonna crunch up my powders. And I just smash them with the cup. So my um, color is all smashed up, so I'm going to pour it in the wax, and I do this before I add any fragrance. I'm going to stir that. I'm going to stir it until I feel like it's all blended. And now I'm just going to take a piece of tissue to test the color. So I just dip a piece of tissue like that. And this looks pretty black, so yeah, I'm not sure if that's what I wanted, but whatever. Um, hmm. Try to think. Yeah, maybe it'll change when it burns, when it um, solitude, when it solidifies, whatever you want to call it. 
So I'm gonna add the fragrance now. And like I mentioned, I just add um, 20 drops and I eyeball it. So. So I'm adding 10 drops of the hot chocolate and then 10 drops of the snickerdoodle. I'm gonna let that sit until it reaches 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so my wax reached 130 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into the jar slowly. So you wanna make sure you pour it in as slow as possible. And as you can see, I don't have any more wax inside and everything is everything is filled up to the max amount. And yeah, so I'm just gonna wait till this becomes solid overnight. I'm gonna wait overnight and then I'm gonna come back and show you the results. I know this color did not turn out brown. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna call it hot chocolate anymore. I'm going to call it Campfire S'mores. That's perfect, because I know it's going to come out like a dark green, but it's going to smell like chocolate. So, what other better name is to call it is, I mean, what, I can't even speak, what the freak? What other name is better than Campfire S'mores? Yeah, so, thanks for watching, and I'll be back in the morning or wherever and show you the finished results. And you want to let make sure you um, leave it in the same spot that you poured the candle so it doesn't like do anything you don't want it to do. So this is a finished product. Um, I only did two, so I didn't do the cucumber melon one. But this is how the kiwi watermelon one came out in the... It was hot chocolate, but now I'm gonna call it Campfire S'mores because of the color. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my candy tutorial and um, maybe find it easy to make candles now. It is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna check out the way this wooden wood burns and then if I like it, then I'm going to make way more candles with the wooden wick because I love the way it looks. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.